Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. I told you I was going to do a separate video to talk about my back injury. And first off, I want to say that my back injury was not DJ related, but back problems are a common issue for DJs. So that's why it's also good to talk about this. Now, again, I want to thank everyone for their support and also for all the people sending me advice. Uh, I know you mean well, but you should be careful with giving people advice if you're not familiar with the specific injury. In this case, I didn't get advice that was too bad, and I even got some good medical advice as well, just suggestions. Um, but be careful with giving people actual advice if you're not a doctor and you're not familiar with their specific injury because you could tell someone to do something that might make the injury worse instead of better. But like I said, in my case, it wasn't that serious, so I appreciate all the support. Now, like I said, my injury was not DJ-related. In my case, it happened during a workout, and my situation was that I was ill for about a week, week and a half. Then both my kids were sick, also for like a week, week and a half, and that kept me out of the gym for a while. Now, after three, four weeks, I went back to the gym, so... I was out of my training rhythm. I was just sick before that time. So that means that you're not, um, your body is not as prepared as it was before. And I started my workout and I probably went a little bit too hard, too fast. Because what happened is during uh, uh, a set, I think I just cramped my neck or uh, I, uh, I, I did something with my neck. And your neck, of course, is attached to your spine. And what happened in my case is that two of the vertebrates kind of um, got stuck, sort of, sort of say. I mean, it's hard to explain, but uh, I went to a physical therapist and he showed me like a spine and how two of the vertebrates were kind of stuck together. And it didn't give me problems standing and I could jump, run, sprint. I could even work out. I only had the problem when I sat down and arched my back. That's when the pain hit me in my upper back. And the doctor didn't know what to do, but the physical therapist tried a couple of things and he, uh, he found out what it was pretty quick. So what happened next is that I got a treatment and this physical therapist just twisted me in all sorts of directions that I didn't even know were possible. And around the second move, I could hear and feel uh, a crack, like <clears throat> And after that, he told me, all right, try to arch your back again. And I did, and almost all of the pain was gone. So he found the right spot. Now, of course, after someone treats your back like that, your back is gonna get sore. So that's what happened the next week, week and a half. My whole back was sore from being bent and cracked in every which way, but it did help. I'm probably gonna go back for a second treatment because I can still feel it a bit, but it's already feeling a lot better. So that's what happened to me. It happened during a workout and it was my own mistake. I wasn't focused enough and I went too hard, too fast after um, not training for a couple of weeks. But DJ related back injuries are quite common, especially if we go back in the days, a lot of DJs would play long sets. Now I know a lot of DJs don't play long sets anymore, but for you guys out there, if you do play long sets, like I used to play a lot of six hour DJ sets, and a lot of young kids now when they hear six hours, they're like, how is that possible? Well, that was pretty normal. So I was resident at a certain club, and I would play all night. So you would be playing for six hours, but you have to imagine if the DJ setup is a little bit low, and I'm not a giant, but I'm not the smallest person either. I'm like 6'1", and if the setup is a little bit too low, that will mean that you're standing in a, a, a position where your back is arched. And after a while, I started to feel that in my lower back. Now, most of the times, that is because your core isn't strong enough. And I wasn't really training my abs and my core, because if you have a strong core, then your whole core can support you. And if your abs and your core aren't strong enough, then your back really starts to feel it. So I received some questions about people who have pain in their back from DJing. That could be the case. But 
I'm not going to give you advice. Go see a doctor, but let the doctor send you to a physical therapist because most of the times your regular doctor doesn't really know enough about that specific topic. And a lot of times the doctor will just tell you, well, take some rest, and if you still have problems in a week, come back. It happened to me now too, so that's why it took a little bit longer. It took me two weeks to get a referral to go to the physical therapist. But that is definitely an issue. If you have a low setup and you have to stand in an arched position, that could hurt your back. So make sure that you work that core. Train your abs, train your back, do a lot of planks and stuff like that. There's like a million videos on YouTube to give you advice on how to train your core and your abs. And you don't need to go to a gym, you don't need any equipment. There's plenty of workouts you can do with just your own body weight. So that's all. So thanks again for all the support. And I'm feeling better every day. I've started working out again, uh, also training my back, and that also helps. Um, so feeling better every day and I was lucky enough that I didn't have any issues while I was standing so I could still DJ and record videos while I'm standing. So I hope that answers all your questions and if you have any more questions about injuries, go see a doctor and not DJ TLM TV. All right guys, I'll be back real soon. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and Share the knowledge, y'all. I'm out. Peace.